Good little secrets. Good All right, secrets. the secrets. Another match, man. I just had some stuff I wanted you to check out for me when you had a chance. I appreciate it. I love yeah. that one piece. Oh, thank you so much, man. Yeah. <laughs> some drama going on. Hello, everybody. I'm at Goodwill right now. I got a great day. I'm going to do so many things. We're going to sell things from previous videos. We're going to learn more secrets of Goodwill. And I find something they don't even know how much it costs. They overlooked it. I scored. Let's get the party started. Thank you for coming along. Hit the subscribe button and let's go. All right, friends. Let's go. Coming this way? All right. You're welcome. Good luck in there. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, have a good one. You're welcome. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody else? All right, let's go. Good smiles, good vibes coming into Goodwill. All right, it's all good at Goodwill, baby, baby. I thought I saw maybe a little bit of cool glass or something like that. So tea full. All right. Oh. Not a red hot chili pepper. Oh, clay art. That's actually decent stuff. As far as this kind of stuff goes, but I think we're going to skip the clay art. Pepper shavers. All right. Let's go check out the men's clothing. I figured they had some men's clothing because that little reseller dude has some new clothes out. Let's probably bag some fresh ones. We got some shoes out here. Shoes can always be good to resell. A fresh wrap of men's shoes. Crazy Nike Air Maxes. We might check these out. Let's see what other shoes we can find. Oh, some Vans off the wall. Funky art. Pretty cool. $20 for those they want. Let's see what else. Ooh, some brand new Vans for $25. These are probably my size. These look good. Is it a big size 14? That's where I'm rocking. 14. These might even be 15. 16, friends, for $25, though. It's almost a dollar a size. All right, we can't do that. Got some Hurley shoes. No, oh, Under Armour shoes. 15 bucks. Let's see what else. What else they might have in here? Got some fake Crocs. Oh, Merle. Merle shoes can do very good. I don't know. Maybe we'll look them up. Some other crazy Nikes right here. Nike training reacts 20, they're banging for. Oh, people, I'd never buy a tie. The only tie I ever bought was a Grateful Dead tie, it was new with tags. But this one's pretty cool. What do you think? Looney Tunes, yeah, Looney Tunes ties 1998 right here, vintage. Got a boo-boo, what else do they got? Oh, some Winnie the Pooh, Tigger 2. Oh, oh, what's this one, Taz? Oh, there's all the homies right here. $10 a tie though, no way. Tigger, look at that. Tigger 2, we got another Taz right here. Wow. And another fat poo. Another fat poo. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty cool. Six ties, 60 bucks right there. Yeah, no thank you. My friends, we just put a brand new fresh men's rack out here. And there's no one else to attack. There's no one else to attack this. All right, let's see what we can find. Let's open her up. Some cloud nine, some head, some banana republic wool right there. Probably a lot of people might buy this one. I'm gonna have to look this up, right? Banana republic wool sweater it's og too all right we'll look that up this thing looks pretty cool right here and i was checking it out affliction we all know affliction sells i bought some recently the bros love it and i think we're gonna bag this it's six dollars now it's brand new i think it's brand new yeah brand new and I see some that are like listed for $40. So I think this is gonna be an easy, tidy little profit. It's a cool hat. Maybe I'll even wear it with my Affliction shirt. So I think I just dig it. 
so we're gonna bag it. And then we checked out our Banana Republic wool sweater. It's much as cool as it all sounds. I think this one's gonna be a skip too. So, so far we're just bagging a cool hat. Nothing wrong with that. All right, let's keep it moving. Bag it. What kind of pants are these? <laughs> Levi Strauss, handmade by Sosa. And Sosa did a little bit of work on these things right here. Check that out. What do you think? I took some funky stuff like this into Buffalo Exchange and they're like, Mikey, no way. But maybe I just don't know. Maybe Sosa's got it. I don't know. I just think it's so-so. Hey dudes. Hey dudes, $13. I'll we'll have to look those up. I got some hey dudes for sure. Size, oh boy, size 14. That's my size. Did I donate these? Friends, I actually, true story, I donated some of the Super Quartz clothing and then I bought it back. And then I bought it back. She was not impressed. She was not impressed, friends, but. As good as the deal as $13 Hey Dude sound for Big Mikey, I'm pretty good on my shoes right now, so skippy dippy. What in the hairy tornado is this? I'm thinking about going into a booth with Sonny and Carrie. What do you guys think I should do? Should we get the popcorn maker? I could sit there every day and make popcorn. 10 cents a bag, and then I'll eat a bag and give you a bag. I don't know if that's gonna be a profitable venture, but you guys know, not all about the profits. I'm all about the good time. So popcorn machine, $80. That's not a Goodwill price, $80, as is possible booth action, friends. Possible booth action. I'm thinking about hanging out with my two crazy friends again. Reseller cartel could be riding again. Let me know what you think in the comments. We've got people taking pictures of it. This thing's amazing. 80 bones, right here. I'm gonna be making popcorn. I should've brought my seeds to do, do a little test, right? A little seed test. All right, we're gonna pass it up. Meow, meow, Hello Kitty, friends. I love slinging the kitty, but look at that. That is not good. Kitty is dirty. She got poo poo face. Literally, possibly. So don't touch it. Move on out. I just had to show you. Hello Kitty. I'm going to buy a storage unit probably in the next day or two. So we're not trying to pile on up. Thank you all for everyone who watched. New watchers. Appreciate you all coming and hang out with Mikey Bags. Just like to have a good time. We're not all about the profits, we're all about the fun. All right. What is this, an AudioFox FRS base station? $18, friends. Goodwill just takes shots in the dark now. High price, 18 bucks. Well, we're gonna scan it. We're gonna make an informed decision here. Let's see here. Barcode. eBay app is already open. Sometimes you know how the phone just opens up in your pocket? That's what was going down. All right, what do we got here? Come on, baby. Scan it for me. Scan it. All right, I won't. It's being naughty. Have to go old school and type it in. 50 bones are offering. Oh, we're gonna have to ask. Gonna have to ask. That wasn't my pocket. Good job, sir. Cha-ching! Is that you? No? Phone? No? Oh, I heard. I thought I heard the cha-ching. eBay. Say oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> Because it wasn't my phone and I heard it and I was like, oh, this has got to be someone yeah, near me. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, nothing better than that ding, ding, ding sound, right? <laughs> I was wondering, what are you talking about? Yeah, well, I'm always just talking to myself. Yeah, good job. What was it? Oh, it's uh, kitchen. Kitchen aid? Kitchen pot. Kitchen pot? Pointing rare. Nice. What that would be? 26 bucks. Bread and butter, baby. What do you say? Everything I can find. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever's around here that I know. Yard sales. I started buying some storage units recently. I used to be in construction, then I got hurt. And oh, then, right. yeah, while I was recovering, I sold a pocket knife, and then light bulb went off. When you find a good item that people want, it, it says. Yeah. But you know, it's not easy to find. No, that's the hard part. Like, if you yeah. find the right stuff, it sells easy. Oh, it yeah. sells for a lot, but yeah. it's it, you don't find it as much. Right. And, yeah. And then you can price it accordingly if it's the right item. Yeah. If not, it doesn't sell. If not, you should leave it here, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was your name? Uh, Thomas. You can give me a fake one, Mike. Mikey. Yeah. yeah. Hey, have a good one, man. Thank yeah. you, Thomas. Good luck, man. I hope you get another cha-ching right now. <laughs> As per usual, we're making friends. We've got to make some dollars. I saw some good prices for these, but then 
I got distracted and then we're gonna have to look that back up, but let's see if we can find some other stuff. Yeah, Thomas, man, good advice. If you find something good, it's gonna sell. It's gonna sell. You just gotta find what people want. That's the tough, that's the tough part. All right, we're up in the hards, up in the hards. Let's see what we can find. Oh, look at that. Seashell trivet. Coaster? Yeah, probably a coaster. Might not wanna put a burning hot pan on that. All right, let's see what we got. Can you guys hear anything? You hear the ocean? Interesting, but not. We got some blue site paperweights here. What do we got? MS Concrete. Oh, that was disappoint. That was disappoint. We can find something fun for us. Something we could scream and shout about, like Ferris Bueller on his day off, friends. If you're watching not while you're working right now, shout out you. Turn it down. Don't let the boss hear. All right, let's see. It's Jason Momoa. Is that Sonny? No. Old Man Sonny? No, that's bad, Mikey. That's not Old Man Sonny. All right. Sonny's already older than that. Oh, bada boom, bada bang. Sis right here. Avon? House of Vaughn? I don't know. Passing on that. I know much on the liquor bottles. I've never seen one that really kills it for me. Do right. you think they would? Old liquor bottles seem really cool. And some of them do sell, without a doubt, friends. Some of them are worth picking up, but the majority of them are not. Look at that. Football ashtray for the smoking athletes in your family. All right. I'm gonna find some stuff better than this affliction hat, and if not, I'll be happy eating pie. Maybe we'll go get some pie. Someone definitely must have donated some seashell stuff. This is Pier 1 Imports. Too bad it's got that little chippy right there. It's got kind of like a vibe. Maybe like a, a Barbie dollhouse vibe, I don't know. Um, what else? I've got a lot of ugly pieces here today. No offense to the ugly pieces out there. I'm sorry, ugly pieces. I won't call any of you out by pointing. But yeah, there's a lot of ugly suckers in there today. What is this thing? I don't even understand this, friend. Subtle reflection. Do you mail this off after you buy it? I just don't understand. I don't understand. That's why we're out and about today. We're running errands, having a good time. Look at that awesome five-star job. Four-star job, I'm sorry. It's only a four-star job. I, I didn't think it was quite five stars. Honestly, I thought they were giving too good of a review. But upon further review, it's just a four-star job. And that is very, very generous. All right, what about its buddy right here? Oh, no stars. No stars right there. Just awesome. Yeah. All right, got kind of a lean. Look at this, what is this, friends? I don't even understand this piece. Is it like hold an envelope? Better not be toilet related, that's all I gotta say. Man, this thing could be valuable, it's like glued. Two pieces glued, I guess, right? For what purpose? Decorative? Maybe some kind of fancy vase. Love vase? Interesting. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be a heart? I don't know. All right, friends. I, uh, <laughs> I was in there cashing out, checking out, and the cashier lady says, you, are you doing a YouTube right now? And I was like, yeah, probably do a YouTube. Just probably make a YouTube. It's like, uh, why, have you seen my YouTube or the camera? She's like, oh, I've seen you in here before, just talking to yourself and on the camera, and Figured you must do YouTube. I was like, yeah, I do YouTube. And so she's like, uh, I have seen the lady with the accent though. She walks in the Goodwill like, oh, I'm picking up this and getting this. It's like Tiffany. Shout out Tiffany. I hope you're doing good. I hope to see you soon. And yeah, the cashier has definitely seen you. She's like, Mikey bags of money. Never heard of the guy. Thrifting Vegas, love her. How could you not? All right, let's go to the next stop. Oh, there's the packages. All right, time for the next Goodwill. Um, bag the hat, made the Facebook post. If you aren't following me on Facebook, check me out there. Mikey bags of money across all platforms, pretty much. And the OGs know me as Charmed LV, the same name as my eBay store. So let's go inside of this Goodwill, see what else we can do. Oh, we got some drama, we got some, we got some drama going on. Definite drama. All right, well, let's keep going. 
pajamas in the house. Let's see what's all here, friends. It's looking pretty thin today. Pretty, pretty thin. Hopefully they're bringing some stuff out. I'm supposed to actually go have a whatnot here soon, too. Oh, look at that beauty. Multicolored beauty, friends. Look, any new, any new stuff out here yet? See, did not bring my purple derpal light. Let's see. Oh, they do got a new rack set. Look at so many people in here, friends. So many people. Let's see what we can do. Sexy I know, look. I just saw your last, your last video had over 8,000 views. I know. Quick, within like, right. well, that's 24 hours. Dude, my You're other one, up, dude. Because like, people do want to know like secrets, was, bro. I know. Because they asked me. Hey, hey, I'll, I'll give you inside right now. Put you on a menu. Yeah. So, you may want to come check in more often. Good little secrets. Good All right, secrets. the secrets. All right. right. What's the... <laughs> that was my, my mom. I should my mom if she was laughing so hard. That's awesome. Did she, did she watch it? She did, she did. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, awesome, dude. That that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, I got distracted. I got distracted. We're getting all the Goodwill secrets, and I got distracted. What else do we got here? All right, what is this like? Sears electrical scissors. Oh, there's an ice maker. Ice makers can do okay, but they don't always work. What's this? Jensen record player. What else do we got? Ooh, look at that. We got a golden peacock, friends. Proud and loud. How you like me now? Alright. I don't know. This thing could be the best thing ever, or it could be the cheapest thing ever. This is, friends, a wishbone. Odd, odd, odd. What else do we got in here? Oh, Callaway Golf Bag, right here. Three ninety nine. Unless this thing's broken, we caught him slipping. Goodwill didn't even know, friends. Goodwill didn't even know. All right. Look at that. We're bagging our first item. Thought I had something else, but maybe I didn't. All right. Bag it. I didn't even know. All right, what else do we got? When you find a Callaway golf bag, you might be able to find golf clubs. So all depends on what they take to the Goodwill outlet. They, they list a lot of stuff online now, friends. You can buy and sell online so good. All these major companies are starting to do it themselves. No need to hate, no need to hate. Ooh, that's definitely vintage Zion right there. That probably someone to buy that. I said I didn't bag it. Zion National Park. Been there a couple times. It's beautiful, beautiful. We got Lake Powell, which is gorgeous too. Tommy Hill figure. We got another. What do we got here? Don't bother me. I'm Krabby from Baltimore. All right. Yeah. yeah. What do we got here. Property of Yellowstone National Park. That's what I'm talking about. What else do we got? Zelda shirt. All right, we got peanuts. Rula Canyon, Bryce Canyon. All right, local hiker around. Hopefully still around. Yellowstone. It's beauty of a Yellowstone. We got a year on there. Nope. 
Vegas Strong, Freakling Bros, Trilogy of Terrors, Las Vegas. These shirts actually do sell. I've sold them before. Classic mountain shirt with the horses. 2000. Pretty cool. I used to buy these mountain shirts, but I just don't anymore. Not even for four dollars. Nope. Orange tags are a dollar, friend. Orange tags are a dollar. Should we actually look to see if we can find a dollar item? Friends, I never look for the dollar items. Oh, look at that. We could have this right here. Erica Taylor Intimates for a dollar. Is that two piece? That might be. Look up the comp. All right. Any other orange tags? Orange tags. Is this one orange right here? That kind of looks orange. Sunny Las Vegas would tell me that's an orange tag right there for sure. All right. Uh, B and B Classics right there. Look at that. Made in Vietnam for only one dollar, friends. Man, you never know what you're gonna find when you actually look for the dollar ones. I guess it's pretty. What do we got here for a dollar? We got there. George. No. No. Apostle, no. Any other dollars in here? Now, the dollar shoes, that's definitely where I could see you could do some work. But a lot of people's methods and theories and sourcings are just get the dollar ones. Buy the dollars, flip it for however much you can. You got to list more, but hey, we all have our different methods. What else is a dollar? Right there, George. North Face? Oh, that's red again. Okay. Check this out, friends. This is, is this the the snow white bunny that like turns into a pumpkin after midnight? What, what, what? No way. And they want $75. I don't even think this thing works. Look at the drivetrain right here. No way this thing works. This is one of the tires. $75. That thing's going to go in a big bundle at the bin right there for sure all right stick shift non-automatic look at the back end definitely kicking the tires here no way look, this seems like a real car though look at this thing i'm gonna ask him if it works all right pretty cool it's in here i wonder if that was full of jewelry before it got donated that's what i love about storage auctions find that thing that's full of jewelry before goodwill gets it all right stanley half power garage door opener that's probably worth it friends that stuff's expensive how much do they want here sixty probably a deal probably a deal what do we have here friends what do we have here i think we got broken fingers if we got broken fingers we're in trouble i think it is a busted oh oh my friends oh my look at this we got all kinds of problems going down here i think we're gonna skip it so i think those fingers are busted yeah look at that painted what a bummer so we're on to something here and i think this thing's just very cheap is what it turns out to be Hope it's not Tiffany. All right. Even so, it's busted. All right, pass it up. We are giving some updates on some of the items I've gotten from my storage unit. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to go sell, hopefully, my hot amp from the unit I bought for 50 bucks. Sold the car part for 40 bucks, I think. Hopefully, they pay on eBay. You know how it is on eBay, accepting offers. And this hot amp, I'm going to go sell for hopefully 75 bucks. Facebook Marketplace. So it's a tiny bit of profit on, on the unit, plus I gambled on it, so I'm happy to make some money on it. It was so easy to clean, so easy to list. So we're gonna go slaying that. Then I had my unit where the owners came back and caused a stir. If you haven't checked that video out, I have a whole playlist dedicated just to my storage unit videos. So I, I got some Gucci, some Off-White, some other stuff really high brand name stuff some of it wasn't real clearly i'm thinking this gucci hopefully is real sweater and i don't know anything about nike off whites 
So I'm gonna go ahead to Yesterday's Fits where they bought my Tupac shirt once for $300. I only bought it for $1.50. So we're gonna go just see what they say on it and say hi to Jesse and Austin. That's gonna be cool, local. Then I have a whole bunch of clothes I got from another unit that I haven't listed. I got a lot of jeans, um, even from my last unit. I got some jeans, some tops. So we're gonna go take those to Buffalo Exchange and see what they'll credit us with. I like to get the credit because I like to buy clothes for myself. So we'll just see how much that ends up being. I definitely need some shirts, some shorts, and some other things. I need fly gear. I need new stuff. Yeah, Buffalo Exchange is cool. I enjoy it. I take some things there. It's been a while, so we're going to go downtown Las Vegas and do that. I've really been enjoying just bringing you guys along, having fun, doing the storage treasure hunt. It's phenomenal. And I've gotten so many new subscribers. Thank you all so much. Thank you all for the continued support who've been here for a long time telling me you like the storage unit videos. I like them too, it's fun. I like the adventure, the unknown, the excitement. It's always very exciting just to see what kind of treasures someone was storing, left behind, learning a little bit about them. There's just so many, so many deep variables and things you can think about with these units. And most importantly, I'm making some money on it. So that's, that's good. So we're gonna keep doing that. We're gonna probably start investing some more back into the storage unit flipping. I'm thinking about getting a storage unit for myself, for my goods, put everything there. Even maybe my, my eBay listings, I'm thinking. And you definitely gotta start buying some higher, more expensive units, taking a bigger gamble. Here, Chipotle, I don't see anyone standing around, so let's go see if we can find someone. Or we'll just sell our amp to anyone. We'll just put it out in the back of the hood, so let's go. Everyone's looking at me in this parking lot too, but I forgot. <laughs> I got the Monkey D. Luffy sweater on. It's the one piece dime piece. All right, here he is, the guy. How's it going, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh. Yeah, I just got a um, bass guitar from uh, from work. Sweet, man. So. Well, um, I usually don't deliver, but I just, hey. your Facebook profile looked like you had good yeah, vibes yeah. and you lived here and stuff. You get all kinds of crazy messages. I appreciate it. I love yeah. that one piece. Oh, thank you so much, man. Yeah. yeah appreciate you, man. Hey, man, have a yeah, good one. You. Rock works on. everything. Good. Hopefully, man, if it doesn't, you can come all the way over on my side of the town and I'll take it back. No right. problem. Cool. Thank you know you. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right, man. Have a good one. Sold. Let's go to the next spot. Pulling up to yesterday's fit, so let's go check out. I brought from the unit the Gucci sweatshirt and the off-whites because I really don't know. And we'll just go see, you never know. Like I said, it's good to go say hi, what's up? I'm literally two blocks away, so let's go in there. I might buy something for myself too. I, I like jerseys and stuff like that. So we'll go in there and then we'll head to Buffalo Exchange. I've really been enjoying the day and bringing you all along. So let's, next stop. Here we go. Right. Yesterday sits. Let's go in and say what's up. What up, Ed? How you doing? Good, good. Nothing much, man. I just had some stuff I wanted you to check out for me when you had a chance. Okay. Probably won't take you long, but I've been buying storage units lately. Oh yeah? Yeah, do you know I made a reel when I came in here? It's got 1.6 million views with your face mm -hmm. on it. Yeah, baby! Killed it. <laughs> you, you killed it, man. Your part was great. You're just a <laughs> smiley right there. Just me being me. Yeah. Let me see. Do I still have a paper You found these in a unit? Yeah, I just started doing it. My eighth one. Does it have anything else with it? I'm assuming this is with it too? Yeah, they had all kinds of stuff with it, but I don't think the other stuff was legit. So I, I don't know if that means this is legit, but um, the shoes, they had some other shoes, some Nike Air Maxes. They were so dirty, I didn't even bring them in. They had some like uh, Balacienga shoes and some other uh, okay. some other shoes like that. 
but they had some Montclair jackets that weren't, uh, they weren't legit for sure. Okay. They also had a Louis Vuitton Supreme jacket. I don't really think it's legit because I haven't seen I'm it gonna, copied. I'm going to lean both of these being bad too. Yeah, I, okay, cool, um, man. Main reason being, so squeeze the bubble right there. It's kind of soft. I'll squeeze that one. Oh. It's like thicker, nicer yeah. plastic and then or whatever that is. How they do the tags, it would have been the other way around, the stitching on it. Gotcha. And then the insole is not supposed to be blue like that. Not supposed to be glued ever, right? No, blue. Oh, blue. Yeah. So it's meant to be like a full white. Okay. So I would, I would lean towards bad. And okay. The laces. Um, lettering is a lot thicker. So it's a lot wider, so it's more like that than the thin. Gotcha. If that makes any sense. It does, no. Yeah, the letter ain't <laughs> thicker. All of it, dude. Like, you can tell when you know. I yeah. just don't know. That's why I'm here. Yeah. And then just the, the weight on this. It's too thin, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought so, too. And then, like, I looked at some of the lettering was different on a whole bunch of different photos. But mm -hmm. you never know, at, like, which ones you're looking at are legit or not. 100%. But the lettering was different on some of them. Yeah. So. And then I was like, if this is supposed to be Gucci, it would feel like a quality. Better quality, quality for sure. Okay. Cool, man. You give me disappoints, all except for that Tupac shirt. Hey, the Tupac <laughs> one was a good one, though. It was. All right. Well, I appreciate it. I'm yeah, going to take a look around. But, uh, yeah, I was pretty sure there were failures. Like, everything else was failure. It was, like, so much stuff that was just obviously. But yeah. I was like, maybe these got a chance. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. No, anything. doesn't hurt to try it on either. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thanks, bro. Yeah, of course. Ass suspected, friends. Ass suspected. Or not suspected. Another low blow. It's all good. On to the next one. Nothing in there was real, I don't think. What a disappoint. What a disappoint. And why pay so much to store all that stuff? But yeah, on to the next stop. Buffalo Exchange. Hopefully it goes better. Should we put the Gucci in there and the off-whites? All right, we're cruising down Main Street, Las Vegas. And I was thinking about that storage unit, man. Everything was a bust in there. So many fa fake Montclair, fake Nikes, fake louis fake supreme man fake everything and shout out to austin at yesterday's fits man he explained that stuff good let's uh we gotta pay for parking down here now that's kind of a bummer and it's raining out but let's uh go find a place to park see if we can trade any of this stuff in all right folks big fail at buffalo exchange they didn't take anything i gotta take this heavy old bag all the way back to my car all right this is unfortunate i was walking back to my car too earlier and i remembered this wall check out this wall i helped paint this wall and it was in one of my first youtube videos i was biking with Supercourt. we went just on a random night with a bike group i think it was the rtc or something and yeah met some awesome people and we painted some of this wall right here so with the brush and all that I think this might, it felt like it was a dirt lot, but it's probably a real lot. And no, this is fresh pavement. I think this was dirt. They had stuff set up here. But anyways, where's my section at? My section, I feel like this is my section right here. I don't know, we'll go back to the video and check to see what my section was. Or was it down there? I think it was, I think it was that. I think that might've been me. I don't know. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. Pretty, pretty cool. The memories, yeah, I got them on YouTube now. All right, folks, after an exciting, exciting day of thrifting, selling, doing everything else, we're bailing out of here. Getting a new storage unit too, and possible huge collaboration coming up. Stay tuned, hit the notification bell. See you on the next one. Appreciate you all.